An asthma charity has released figures which show that almost 70% of people who died from the condition in Scotland last year were women. The Aberdeen-based Asthma and Allergy Foundation said death rates were at crisis level and can't be ignored any longer. The chief executive says urgent action is needed to prevent further deaths. Louise Hosey reports. If I ask you in this room, how many of you know what to do in an asthma attack? Can I see a hand? Martina's asthma is so severe she was once pronounced clinically dead for 10 minutes. Her charity campaigns for those with the condition. At its conference in Aberdeen today, it released death figures for Scotland last year. We had um, 96 asthma deaths and almost 70% of them are women. And for me, as a woman in Scotland who is also asthmatic, this is unacceptable. The Asthma and Allergy Foundation has brought together various voices at this event. It's pushing for urgent government action to reimagine and reshape Scotland's asthma policies. Elaine Cunningham is one of those voices. I know most mums say my daughter is the best, we've got the best bond, but Lauren genuinely was my best friend in the world. Um, we did everything together, right down to football, concerts, pubs, everything. 19-year-old Lauren Reed died from an asthma attack while working as a chef in a Glasgow bar in 2020. On that day, she'd left her inhaler at home. Since then, her mum's campaigned tirelessly for inhalers to become part of first aid kits in all workplaces. If only there was an inhaler in the first aid kit, Lauren would have took that during the day herself. Therefore, her asthma wouldn't have got so bad. I just didn't want any other parent to feel the way I do on a daily basis. Those here say the issues of air pollution, child poverty and poor housing, all of which can trigger and exacerbate asthma, must be addressed. Asthma is debilitating. People can't go out to work. Often they have to change their employment because their asthma is being worse in the working environment or they take early retirement and they're lost in the workforce. And that means they're poorer and they've got a poorer quality of life. The charity now hopes to draw up a policy document it will put to the government in the hope it will help to prevent asthma deaths in the future. Louise Hosey, STV News.